Today in the five minute saltwater aquarium guide, the glass is going to get dirty. Two questions, how do I clean it? And how do I reduce the time between cleanings? All that's coming up. Hey, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV and the five minute saltwater aquarium guide. This is a clear, simplified and direct path to setting up that first successful tank. It's time to talk glass cleaning. The challenge here is an algae film grows on the glass and the number one thing that makes the tank look dirty. For some people, this happens every couple of days. Others can go a week or two between cleanings. Most of us would like to be the later. So there's also the right tool for the right job, which can make it a lot easier to clean the glass as well. So what causes the algae film growth on the glass? Three things, light and then elevated nitrate and phosphate from overfeeding or poor maintenance. Light you really can't do a whole lot about because the corals need light, but the corals we selected here intentionally don't need as intense light as others, so you're already going to be cleaning the glass less often than others. So what we're talking about is nitrate and phosphate levels. If they're high, the green algae film will grow faster than if they're low, so let's keep them on the lower end. Starting with if you see the levels rising with your test kits, then simply feed less. If you feed less, you'll grow less algae. It is that easy. If your levels are already too high, you will need to do two to three larger 30% or so water changes to get them down and then feed less to keep them there. If you really like feeding the fish and refuse to slow it down, there are a few other options like upping your filtration game, like a bigger skimmer, larger, more frequent water changes, at a refugium or filtration medias like GFO, which reduces or removes phosphate from the water. There are options, but I just start with feeding less if you see nitrate or phosphate levels rising. It's just the easiest method. For testing nitrate and phosphate, the NIOS nitrate and HANA ultra low range phosphate checker being our two favorites. Another method of keeping the algae film in check is the microscopic troops that we discussed in phase two of the cycle and those heterotrophic bacteria that aggressively go after algae. For those who dose those types of bacteria like Microbacter Clean or Vibrant, they'll just see much slower algae film growth rate or at least a spread or visual signs of it. These types of bacteria don't readily reproduce in seawater, so you do need to dose them to be effective. So those are some of the ways to reduce the speed at which the algae film shows up in the glass, but you will have to clean it at least a couple times a month. I suggest two tools for that. First is the Aquablade scraper for glass 24 inches. It's inexpensive strong and cleans the glass easily, particularly useful on the back of the tank. Second, almost everyone graduates to a magnet scraper at some point. These have a scrubby or blade on the inside and magnetically coupled to a felt pad on the outside, which effectively cleans the inside and the outside of the tank at the same time. For the 40 gallon breeder, we're gonna go with the flipper, which is by far the number one and the most popular with reefers. It's a good value at a price point and it gets its name from ability to flip back and forth from scrubby side to blade side, but most reefers probably use the blade side the most. Dollar for dollar, the flipper is hard to beat. That said, for the E170, my personal favorite is the LG Free Piranha, which is around $20 more. The magnets are significantly stronger. I believe the wood block is attractive, but most importantly, when the inside gets disconnected, it floats to the top. I mean, I don't have to get my arm wet digging around for it. End of story, keeping my arm dry for years to come is worth the 20 bucks. Both the flipper and algae free offer replacement cleaning pads as well as blades, and you just need to replace them from time to time. Okay, so the glass is clean. I'm sure you've been wondering what a water change looks like. There's a hard way and an easy way, and I'm sure you want the easy way. The entire five minute guide is always available here, but if you want to do water changes the easy way and learn some important steps, this is it.